Hey, it's me again, Alex. You might remember me from course one, but it turns out I'm also your instructor for course two. I'm super excited to walk you through the process of a design sprint. Let's go ahead and dive in. Again, I wanna welcome you to the design sprint course of the product manager nano degree and give you a little bit more information about what to expect. This course is for students who are interested in learning how to solve problems by understanding the problem, ideating, and then bringing an idea through concept design and user validation. If the idea resonates well, you'll learn how to create a spec to hand off to engineering. You'll learn more about how you can use design thinking to diverge and explore ideas before ultimately focusing in and converging on a single idea. Once you have that idea, you'll also learn how to map out the full concept and create a prototype, which can then be used to validate that you're solving a real problem for real users. So what exactly is design thinking? Design thinking is a human-centered approach focused around solving problems by really understanding the user and their goals on a deep level. At the same time, you'll be challenging assumptions about what you know and redefining problems to identify new solutions. There are a handful of design thinking methods to help achieve these goals. A design sprint, on the other hand, happens when you bring together a cross-functional team to solve a specific problem in a set amount of time. During a design sprint, you will explore and prototype solutions and then test them with real users. Throughout the entire design sprint, you will use design thinking methods that are specific for each phase of the sprint. Design sprints are a powerful problem-solving tool when you're faced with difficult questions and you're unsure which direction to go. Once you've identified a specific challenge that you need to solve, it may seem like a simple problem, but more often, when you start to look closer, you realize that there's a lot of different factors that you need to understand and consider before reaching a solution. Design sprints can be used to solve a wide range of problems from solving user needs through the creation of a new product, like an app to measure and track your fitness, to adding new functionality to an existing product, like the ability to sell shoes through the fitness tracking app. But design sprints aren't just for new things. You can also use design sprints to resolve issues with existing products. For example, why do users stop using that fitness app after one month? Or how can we solve the issue that's causing 10% of the fitness app users to contact support every month? Now that you have a high level understanding of what a design sprint is and how it can be used to solve problems, let's walk through the learning objectives for this course. At the end of this course, you'll be able to organize and run a design sprint to create a product that solves a user need. You'll be able to create sketches, storyboards, and build interactive prototypes. And you'll be able to design a research plan to validate product concept and identify usability issues along critical user journeys. You'll also learn how to recruit participants and conduct usability tests following a research plan, as well as translating user insights into product improvements. I'm super excited to have you here for this course, so let's go ahead and get started.